In this video, we're going to look at what a metathesis reaction is. And we're going to start by talking about what makes metathesis reactions. So what drives a metathesis reaction to happen? The main driving force, the general driving force for a metathesis reaction is the removal of ions from solution. And this can take on several different um, flavors. So there are a couple of different ways that you can take ions out of solution. So one way, the first way, is via a precipitation reaction. And in this case, you form an insoluble salt. What happens with a precipitation reaction is you throw two ionic compounds into water that are uh, soluble. and the some of those ions that are in both of those compounds are not soluble so a insoluble salt forms and comes out of the solution so that insoluble salt that's removed basically takes ions out of solution the second way that we can do this is through um, the formation of a weak electrolyte so we have the formation of a weak electrolyte and generally speaking, these are considered to be uh, what we would call acid-base reactions. There are a couple of different types of weak electrolytes. So one would be the formation of water. Water is a weak electrolyte, and that will remove ions from an acid and a base out of solution. Generally speaking, this is what we call a neutralization reaction. So when you put an acid and a base together in water, they will react together to neutralize each other, making water. And the other one is the formation of a weak acid or base. This would be where you put two, a, a, two salts together and one of those salts that comes out as a product is a weak acid or base. So in essence, because you're forming a weak acid or base, these things do not ionize completely in water, so you're taking out um, ions from solution. And the third category is through the formation of a gas. So, and then the gas bubbles out of solution. And in this case, in gas formation reactions, oftentimes the gases that are formed are combinations of ions, and therefore those combinations of ions bubble out. So for example, when you um, form uh, hydrogen sulfide, the uh, H plus and S2 minus ions come out as a gas, and therefore that removes uh, ions from solution. So the general form um, for these reactions looks like this. You basically have an ionic compound that's what we call AX, and this is aqueous, plus an ionic compound that we call BY, aqueous, and the partners exchange, so we have AY and BX, uh, so you change the ions, so you change the partners. So A is partnered up with X and B is partnered up with Y. So we move Y over to A and we move X over to B. And one of these two compounds uh, will either be a insoluble salt, it will be a weak electrolyte, or it'll be a gas. And that, if, if one of those happens, we have a metathesis reaction. So the way to think about these are, these are what we call partner exchange reactions. So now we're gonna jump in and we're gonna look at some examples. And the first example we're gonna look at in the next video is a precipitation reaction.